Hey everybody, welcome back to episode two of the Commission's Corner. The Commission's Corner is a uh, podcast series that we're doing that's a little bit shorter and we're probably around five to 15 minutes in interview. Last time we had Giulio on, we went to, I think like 35 minutes, so we went a little bit longer there. But uh, essentially what I'm trying to do here is just kind of uh, quick interviews with some of the GMs in Div 1, Div 2 of the Beaver Lodge Hockey League get to know their team, see how things are going, and then hopefully we can get a little more coverage and get some in-depth coverage on each team from from the individual GMs. Um, this podcast is presented by Casso Dote. Don't <laughs> roast, me, <laughs> roast me on Twitter if I uh, uh, pronounce that one wrong, all the French guys out there, but uh, they make the best sound, submarine sandwiches in Montreal since 1969. <laughs> Just outside of Montreal, actually, I got corrected on that one for saying that last week. But um, yeah, definitely worth checking out. I'm gonna definitely do it next time I'm in Montreal. I've never been there in my life, but I plan on going there eventually. So, but yeah, I know this this uh, this episode we got uh, Bondgren, who is the general manager of the Buffalo Sabers in Div Two. He's uh, he's here with me. What's what's going on, Bondgren? Oh, nothing much. Uh... Just coming off a good sin, so it's a it's a plus. How'd you do? Well, uh, there's only a problem. The only problem was that there were like five CPUs I had to play. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. There's not a lot of ton, yeah. not a ton of guy, not a ton of guys in Div Two right now. Hey, I mean we added no. a couple this week, which is awesome. But uh, yeah, we've uh, a couple guys have been leaving here and there, and then but yeah. uh, um. But yeah, so overall, like Div Two, how's it going? Like, how do you think the league, the whole like Div Two as a league's going? Well, uh, I think so far that um, I think it seems pretty fair with everybody here. Yeah. Um, there's just a lot going on right now with like um, everybody leaving, people getting promoted up to Div One. It's just a problem down here. We're just losing a lot of guys. Do you think? Um, do you think? Would you rather have like Div Two as like a, um, like a more relaxed GM league, or would you rather have it like as like a a building block to get to Div One, like current kind of like a farm league? How do you view it? Well, I mean, I think it's like mainly mostly both. I would think um, everybody's trying to get to the top, and that's how it's supposed to be done in the Beaver Lodge Hockey League. Everything is supposed to be like competitive, trying to get to the top, and um. You just want to see yourself in the big show in Div One. That's that's what everybody wants to do. Yeah. You think yeah, and that? Wait, say again. Sorry. No, go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, you think you'll uh, you'll you're in a good position to make it to Div One, like maybe this season or maybe next, if you. <laughs> Let's not jump to conclusions yet, but um. <laughs> you're doing all right. No. It's 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 tough down here. Yeah, you know, I got a couple. You know, like Ronich, you just got, or how do you say his name? I forgot how to say his name. He's Russian. It's a mm-hmm. little hard to say stuff. Um, but yeah, he was he was tough to go against. And then you just and then you called him up at Div One, and um, he's been like doing really really good up there. Yeah, and that's that's good for him though. So yeah, um. Yeah, no, like that. We had Ronick, uh, Money Cactus was in Div Two. He was really good up there. A um, couple other guys. Um, it's got to be kind of interesting playing in Div Two. I always thought, just well, not always. Just was thinking because there's so much movement of GMs. Like you, yeah. It's. Uh, do you get to know? Yeah. The, do you get to know? Like, how long does? What am I trying to say here? I'm trying to ask, like, does it take a bit to get to know the teams, or is it like, is there a lot of? Fuck, this is a bad question. <laughs> this is a not well formulated question. Is there like, <laughs> is it? It's probably difficult to project how you're gonna do because you don't know what the division's gonna look like. Like, you only really know yeah. for like a sim or two, and like some guy could join and he's a ringer, right? Like. Does that kind yeah. of happen, or? Oh, I mean, I would. <laughs> it's 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 whatever down. I mean, you just got to get used to. It. You got to look at what you got in front of you, and 
it was like like what Cobra did, like Cobra did last year, and then you, he's been like tearing it up 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 there with Washington. I saw. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, with him being cyber as well, the first the first loss he's had. Yeah. Um. Yeah, he's but a... yeah, I mean, yeah. No, go ahead. Sorry. I would say, but yeah, but um. You just have to get used to it down here. Like once you join, it's it's a little hard to understand what to do. But yeah. um, once you once you start off like doing like a full season, you just like to start to get up there, and then you know you get used to everything that goes on here. Yeah. Um. Yeah. How did you uh? How did you end up finding the league? <laughs> oh. This is the question I've been preparing for. Um, Perfect. I was just sitting on my couch, just uh, watching the NHL Network, watching a game. And I was like, okay, so commercials on. I'm just going to scroll through Instagram on my phone. And apparently I just kept seeing notific- uh, I just kept sitting, seeing post after post from this little PS3 league. <laughs> Where did you see Wait. them? Oh, say again? Where did you see the posts? Like... It it was it was on Instagram and yeah well duh um yeah I was just scrolling it was like a hashtag hockey life or whatever it was I was oh, following the hash yeah. I was following the hashtag right and yeah I just kept getting post after post from this little PS3 league and I just scrolled down it looks pretty cool and then it said PS3 I was like oh and then I saw next one it was legacy I was like oh yeah I'm joining I'm joining. <laughs> so you had a PS3 and NHL Legacy? Yeah, oh, I man. got it back. I got it right when it came out, Legacy. Really? Yeah. That's so rare for somebody to have. Like this week when um those two guys joined from Montreal, like I I couldn't believe that. I was like I was yeah, talking yeah. to them about joining, and they're like, "Oh, we play on PS3," and I was like, "Oh, that's perfect." Like what game? And they're like NHL Legacy, and I'm like, "Oh my god, this is a match made in heaven!" Like. Yeah, that's so, what so, are the odds for that? Yeah, it's so rare that you did that too. Um, but yeah, that's awesome. Um, and then you message joined, and now look at you—you're the com- deputy commissioner <laughs> of the Division Two League. Well, well, I mean, it's been—it's come a long way, eh? Yeah, it has. How how do you like being the commissioner or the deputy commissioner? I guess. Well, it's a uh, it's a lot of work. I'll tell you that right now. Yeah. Do you do you think you need more help? You should we recruit somebody? <laughs> Well, recruiting is the only thing we can do right now. Yeah. Um, that's why I've been I've been looking all over the place for anybody who has a PS3, NHL Legacy, and just trying to get them in, just for so just so we can get more more people. Just yeah. Like, cause you, I remember I think it was on like a podcast you were talking last week with like um, Philip and Reaper. Yeah. And Showtime. Um, you were saying um, like singing like starting up d3 if we got enough members yeah and that would be that would be insane that'd be amazing yeah i i want to fill up div 2 as much as you do i've been yeah i don't know like it was looking really good there you never know though like some of these guys might be coming back like I th- greg's coming back i think showtime just joined again so you just got another yeah. gm which is great love to have him back and then like ah uh, yeah the the hope is to get div 2 filled up for sure i would love that um but uh, I guess it just, it's a slow process. It's tough to find guys, you know, at PS3. It's, yeah. How old is it's, it? It's, it's old gen, so, I mean, it's it's going to be hard to find people. Yeah. And the game is pretty rare, too. Yeah. But uh, yeah, at least, <laughs> at least I got it right when it came out, so that was a, that was a plus. Yeah, no kidding. Oh, and, good. When we, and, like, we did get to, what is it, like, 30, 40, 50 guys in the league, like GMs. That's mm-hmm. pretty good. Yeah. Um, so getting a 60 from 50 is or f- from 45 is pretty possible i'd say and, um yeah but uh yeah you want to dive into your team uh you're 12 9 and 2 uh this season so far you're sitting second wild card spot and i was just looking at the standings here there is two three points that separates the third last in the east from the second wild card with 26 so third last to second wild card yeah um, pretty pretty 
Kai to race there is I don't know how many off the top of my head. I don't know how many of those are CPU teams. Um, well, I can. Well, for now, because we just got we just got more players, so I'll just name the ones that were CPUs then. Okay. Um, it was New Jersey, Florida, Boston. Well, Florida, not really, because that was Brennan's team. He got them all the way up there. Um, New Jersey, Boston. Um, that's pretty much it. And then Columbus with Ronick and the Rangers with Chell Pro just got called up with Div 1. Yeah. Wow. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, wow, that is, that is a, yeah, that's a tight race. Um, yeah. Chell Pro was doing well down there, hey? Yeah, I saw, I saw him, I saw your game with him. He was, oh, wait, you talked about for like Div, Div 2 or? He's, he did well in Div 2, yeah. I don't think oh, he's yeah, he did. Game he did. One. Yeah, he well, did. Wow, that's that's awesome. Good for him. Yeah, he was talking about making our appearance back, but uh, I didn't yeah. know if he would, he would or wouldn't. But um, yeah, it's good to see. Um, I'm just gonna dive. I'm gonna dive into your team here now. Right. Um, have you? Uh, I'm gonna kind of maybe ask some of the same questions I asked Julio. I think they're pretty good questions. Um, has this yeah. has this year at, uh, met your expectations? Well. So far, I would think so. The only problem I'm pretty much having so far is goaltending. Mm -hmm. But other than that, I think I'm doing okay. Yeah. But uh, like I would say Hellebuck in the next few seasons is definitely going to be the starter. Um, last season, he was unbelievable. He had like a 24-11 and 11 record. Um, because he was a 79 overall too, I'm pretty sure. And he, he was just insane. I remember him with the he had like a save last year too. Um I think I sent it in. He had the little paddle save. Oh yeah. Against Mont. Yeah, I remember that. <laughs> that was insane. Um Yeah, so he was a seventy nine last year, so he went from a seventy nine yeah, to an eighty three. That's a good yeah. jump. Yeah, it really is. Wow. So he could probably end up eighty seven, probably around there, is what he'll yeah. kind of peak out at. But mm -hmm. I th I think what I like about Hellebuck is his height. He's six foot four. I I find like Dubnik, just like you could have like a worse goalie, but as long as they got height, I know Cyber swears by it, like tall goalies and stuff. But uh, mm -hmm. yeah, I remember I had Hellebuck in like a previous league, and I didn't. The league ended before he actually kind of developed. But yeah, I was pretty excited about him. That's yeah, um, yeah, it's yeah. So, so far, I've only played him for, like, four games. So, uh, if I get a CPU or two CPUs next game, I'm just going to start him there. Yeah. Just so. So, it's just so I can get that 70-game 70 uh, 70 rule out of the way. Yeah. Yeah. How, do you like that rule? I mean, if it just has to be realistic down here, I mean, in my opinion. So, I, I actually like it. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm a fan of it, too, honestly. I, I, I like it. I You just... There, how many conversations have been started by like, oh man, who is he going to play for his backup? Or like, I just signed a backup for a year and stuff like that. Yeah. So it's, uh, I think it's good. Yeah. Um, it's so, just, it gets the league going, you know? Yeah. I, I'm always for added depth. So yeah, I wish we could, uh, get, get the injuries back, but mm, yeah, that's, that's a big thing as well. What are your thoughts on that? Would you would you rather have injuries on, or would you allow people to use the? Well, I mean, it's 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 tough. Um, what's what's your opinion on it? That's I want to get that first. My opinion. Yeah. I was always a big for the injuries. Um, I just think it adds depth. Like, mm -hmm. it is unfortunate. Like you, you hate to see like somebody lose like a star player like right before playoffs or something like that. Yeah. But, um, like, I don't know. It happens, you know, like it, it happens. And like, it's, uh, in the real NHL, like a lot of it's like how healthy is your team yeah, kind of thing. Mm -hmm. And like, it, it's just like, it's out of depth is the way I see it. And I like, I don't know why would we want to take away depth unless it's just like yeah. annoying or if, like it's broken, but like as far as I was concerned, like injuries weren't really broken. Like they happened in weird circumstances and stuff like that. But like, you know, there yeah. wasn't like 
an injury glitch where you could injure somebody else's player or something like that and stuff like that. But hey, it's a yeah. majority rules. So. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah, but what I was thinking was, um, it just, I would actually like injuries down in D2, but I mean, of course, we can't have that now. Um, but it, it just, I like it being more realistic with this league. Again, more depth and everything. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, but I mean, other times you don't want to get the player injured. I mean, it's just the start. Like, if you just start off in D2, it's just gonna be like, oh, it's just like a a normal normal game like you have custom options just turn off injuries it's not a big deal just like yeah mm -hmm. and then you get up to div one and then it's just okay this is the big this is the real deal up here mm -hmm. yeah yeah so <laughs> that's how it is that's that's my opinion on the injuries yeah. down here i think i'm i think i agree exactly with kind of what you're saying there I think I'm in the same boat is what I'm trying to say. Mm -hmm. um, do you have any uh, underrated players on your team that uh, you you like what you're seeing from them? Well, um, Madison Bowie, he's uh, my defenseman. He's a 79 overall. He's um, already has four goals this year. I'm impressed with, with him. Mm -hmm. I think he's more of the, mo more, of the more underrated players, more under that cannot say anything today right. he's one of the most underrated player a uh, defenseman in this league i would think um let's see who else oh yeah he's got a ton um, of trade value too so at 21 he's gonna have a big growth year this year hey yeah def i would i would say so yeah coming off the elc too well no that's i guess that's the year after this one mm -hmm. but Always a hot commodity, for sure. Yeah, that's he's he's gonna improve. He's gonna develop into one of the most the great one of the best defensemen in the league. I would say so. Yeah. Same with uh, Reinhardt down there as well. He's gonna really improve. I would say so. I would say. Um, because he, I mean, I think he was like one of the one of the biggest trade values on my team. Um, behind Malkin, I think. Yeah. Um, yeah. So. Yeah, Reinhardt. I think what's he in our league right now? He's at eighty-nine. So he's gonna have I, a I massive I, jump. I thought year. I saw him as like a ninety or something. I'm pretty sure. Actually, yeah, I think you're right. He, he's on Anaheim, I believe. But yeah, yeah, no, definitely, definitely the guy you want to keep. That's a he's yeah. got, again, he's got a ton of trade value on his bar. So usually that means that mm -hmm. they're a really good prospect or they're going to develop or something like that. But yeah, um, yeah. Are you? This is, this is, oh, say so go ahead. Sorry, where where are you at right now with your team? Are you kind of in like a rebuild phase, or are you like? Um, well, yeah. I would say so. I've been re I've released a couple of players from last season, and then I signed two free agents, um, Gudis and who was it? I think it was another defenseman. Mm -hmm. Um, I forgot his name. I have to look through it. But uh, yeah, um, it, it he's it's just um what's going on because I had probably one of the best records in in the league like halfway last season mm -hmm. and then it just went downhill from there because i lost like i went like what was it three seventeen three and seventeen in my last 20 oh and wow it, it it did not go great at all i was like okay i gotta i gotta do something so i started doing a lot of trades and stuff yeah. and most of my players and then that's when i got sod and bowie I was like, okay, yeah, I think my team should be good. And then I got my winning ways back, yeah. which was a good thing. Because I'm pretty sure that they will both improve. I I would think so. Yeah. It was it, it didn't go great for me last season. Still made the playoffs, which was a good thing, but didn't go great. So you you were three and seventeen in your last twenty. Yeah, it was. 
it was not great what uh what's your mental approach to that like what is do you like do you ever like lose your shit at, on your control or anything like that <laughs> well um from time to time <laughs> yeah like all of us do <laughs> but then like once i started winning i was like okay yeah let's just stay calm <laughs> let's not let's not let's not let's not lose everything going let's not lose everything here yeah uh, <laughs> And then I started winning games. I was like, okay, yeah, I think I'm back to normal. Yeah. You got? Are you? Uh, are you eyeing to trade anybody in your roster right now? Um, I I was looking at Getzlaff. Getzlaff was one of the ones I would like to trade. Yeah. Um, I would rather get like a speedy center because okay. Getzlaff he isn't as fast as people say. Let me see what his speed is. His speed's at 85, 86, I'm, yeah. it looks like. Yeah, it's an 86. Yeah. Not the quickest. Uh... Yeah. And then I just traded um, Simmons and Nesra for Helm and for Leak. Oh, I love doing and, Helm, yeah. Yeah, Helm, 93 speed, so I was happy I got the speedy center there. Yeah. And then for Leak, he's, what is he? There he is, right winger. He is. They're both pretty fast. Yeah. Um, Frolix, all right. He's an 88 on speed. But, I mean, if you get a good, powerful winger, that can just generate offense right from there. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. I, I think uh, wingers are really useful. I try to use them all the time in, like, the transitions. You know when, like, the defensemen pull up and then you use your yeah. wingers to just try to blow by the defensemen? I know Nata is, like, yeah. the fucking... This is bread and butter, but uh, yeah, that's kind of where I, I like to use it right there. Yeah. I mean, that's probably what anybody would like to do. It's just how you play it. That's that's what you gotta do. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. So, I mean, that's... so so come trade deadline, are you gonna be a buyer or a seller? Well, it depends. Um, we'll just see how my team does by the time we get to the deadline. Um, if not, then I might be a seller. Yeah. Yeah, I don't care too much about like free agency. Yeah. Um, it's just not. There's not a lot of great players in free agency right now. No. Um. It's just you know we have like a high the highest one in free agency right now is like an eighty, and he's like a he's like a yellow star I'm pretty sure. Yeah. And it's. I don't. I don't want to get anybody with that type of rating. Yeah. Yeah. Free agency generally is pretty pretty empty. I think it'll be probably be a bit better in your in the Div two just because of the CPU teams. Yeah. But, say, most of the CPUs probably won't like resign. Yeah. But yeah, it tends to be pretty bare with uh with human yeah. GMs. It's 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 just easier to like sign some guy to like whatever the deal is than to. You know, I have to overpay for somebody in free agency. Yeah. So. Um. Yeah. Um. What do you What do you do? Like, how old are you? Well, I'm a fat little teenager who plays junior hockey, and uh. <laughs> oh really? You play junior? Yeah. Yeah. Where at? I play in Virginia, Potomac Patriots. Oh, that's awesome! Uh... Good for you, man. <laughs> Thanks. What What junior level is it? Um. It's triple A, I'm pretty sure, next season. Oh, good for you, man. <laughs> Thanks. Um so you you're obviously not you're not done high school then. Huh? Say it again? You're not done high school. No, not yet. <laughs> that's that's all <laughs> Wow. Look at you, you're you're in school and you're running this <laughs> like you're a deputy commissioner for this league, this online league. Plus oh. <laughs> Plus you're playing triple A next year, so what are hopefully, you... hopefully. Yeah. Um. Are you gonna try to play? Uh, are you gonna try to play like hockey outside after your high school? Like try to get to like yeah, maybe a college. Try to get co yeah, I would say college hockey is what I'm looking for. Yeah. As long as I get a good education, and that's 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 the most important thing. Yeah. Because if you want to get into like a D1, D1 high school, high school, college, um. What like what um like Quinnipiac is Quinn I think they're div, uh, division one 
Yeah. Yeah. That's like Boston, uh, Boston as well. Boston University. Those are those ones you have to get a big, big uh, education for. Yeah. That's sweet, man. Um, I know a lot of guys. I think uh, Meme King in the league, Dallas and Div One. He played Junior A after in Canada. He didn't yeah. get a scholarship or anything, but there was a couple guys like a lot of our like close friends. Man, they got like, you know, like even like if you go to like out here, anyways, they went to like a community college, played in like a collegiate level there, and then just got like mm-hmm. two years paid for, or you know, like a full full four or whatever. It's it's yeah. it's it's honestly sweet. Like it's, uh, I don't know, that'd be sweet if you mm-hmm. could get it. It's so worth it plus like if you yeah. i don't know in the states like what is the season like 16 or um, 14 games or something like that no it goes way longer than that um, oh okay last last year we had around 45 games um oh. no clue what it's going to be like this year because it's like an, it's a new level yeah so i have no clue how many games they do yeah i would guess i would guess around like 40 mm-hmm. but i mean if i do make the team this year i'm just well, we have a good tournament coming up at the beginning of the season. I hope it goes on. Yeah. Um, it's going on like Boston, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. In the Foxborough area. Okay. Somewhere around there. So it's I just hope that happens. Did your season get cut short last year with COVID? I'm assuming yes. No, no, because oh. we um we we finished early actually. We finished in like March. Yeah. Yeah, end of March. End of March. Um around there that was it was like beginning of april they shut everything down and that's where all hell broke loose pretty much yeah yeah no kidding yeah hopefully it's yeah hopefully it goes away man fuck hopefully they get a vaccine that's what i'm hoping for yeah uh, that would be huge that would be a big play that's what they're looking for yeah um Oh, I had another question for you. Um, what what uh, position do you play? Oh, I play uh, left wing. Nice. Uh, try to be the a good goal scorer, good teammate. Pretty much, that's all you gotta do. Pretty much. Yeah. Kidding. I was a left defenseman Still? myself. <laughs> Never no. played at any sort of high level. Uh, I think I played I played double A one year in Bantam and that is it <laughs> and it was downhill from there so um yeah I was more of a house more of a house league kind of guy you know beer league yeah no yeah actually I don't even play beer leagues anymore I'm too too oh, you don't no nah, too uh, the Beaver Lodge Hockey League takes up my time so that's the new new uh virtual beer league they are in it, in it. yeah exactly. That's, yeah. Doesn't get slow down when COVID comes around, which is nice. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, that's kind of all the questions I had. Do you got anything else you want to talk about? Um, let's go Buffalo, I guess. Yeah. I'm on <laughs> team. I'm I'm a Buffalo fan. Div two Buffalo fan. I'm not a big fan of David ATM on Div one. <laughs> <laughs> I, like... I think he's he's done with the rock. I guess. Oh, what? Oh, yeah, he went to Trump. He went to Trump. <laughs> he went to Trump, yeah. No, I actually do love him in the, the chat. I'm not yeah, I just, it's a... I'm not a fan of the... I love the Jesse sense. That's... Oh, man. It's... <laughs> what a guy, hey? You you need the guy. Yeah. I love that he rips on Ube every time. <laughs> Ube, I mean, jabroni, everybody, everybody, let's get it. <laughs> everybody rips on Ube all the time. Yeah. Well, I, never, I never see anybody not do it. Yeah. Oh yeah, he's a he's a it's, it's, he's an open book. Yeah, it's funny. It is funny. I love it. There's some great guys in here. I eh? look at that. You got a you got a good group going. Yeah, we definitely do. Yeah, um, yeah, it's it's crazy, man. Like it's it started out with me and Meme King, like just. Mm-hmm. And now it's, it's, uh, it's, oftentimes I'm like looking, I'm like, how, like, you just like look at the Discord server and you see like 30 people online or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. And just shooting the shit somewhere, whatever, <laughs> you know, it's just like, Jesus Christ. 
<laughs> did you ever think you would get this? Did no. You, did you ever think you would get this many members? No, not at all. Like even <laughs> uh, I remember when I had like I when we had like fourteen, I was like, oh my god, imagine if we filled this thing up one day. And <laughs> well, uh, <it's... laughs> your dreams come true. There yeah. you go. Yeah, you just keep going. Um, I I read a book though. One hundred fifty people is the maximum amount that like humans yeah. can like you know kind of like cooperate with each other and stuff like before like a community becomes not personal to everybody so mm -hmm. i think uh 30 people so we could definitely go to div five and that's about the max we could do now yeah but if i mean we have like a what 103 people in this discord yeah but a lot um, of them are a lot of them are like you know never ever say anything yeah ever. so but i was saying like if any if every single one of those guys had uh a ps3 and like a copy of legacy then we would have like four divisions and yeah. that would be that would be amazing yeah it would just make the league better and better yeah exactly yeah well i guess next step would be filling up div two and then yeah who knows maybe we can get yeah. a div three going and more than halfway there through div two so yeah. let's just hope it get even more yeah for sure man yeah uh. Good stuff. Well, thanks for doing this, man. I really appreciate it. Well, thanks for all the work you do in Div 2 uh, with like yeah. running it and stuff like that. That's huge. Um, yeah. Thanks, man. It's an honor being on here. Yeah, good. Love it. Um, but yeah, sounds good, man. Well, take right. care.